Hello friends, welcome to Build Learning Club. So in this interesting tutorial, I will show you how can you send the SMS anonymously to any receiver. So you are the sender and the other person is receiver, but the interesting thing is receiver doesn't know about who is sender. And you can use this in any project in any of your college project or in making the website otp verification and many more and this video is going to be very interesting so let's start so at first you need one package this is just type input request r e q u e s t s request if you don't have this package just keep install just type keep install request here Keep install R E Q U E S T S request. So in my case already satisfied. So if you don't have then just installed it. So for this here I use uh interesting API. So for sending SMS you have to use the API. Otherwise you can't do. There is no other way to use API. So there is only one way using api but this is very interesting and this is very simple api so at first just go to google and go to rapidapi.com here i will give you the link of the rapid api and inside the rapid api there is the api text to sms api so search for text to sms api i will put this link in the description box don't worry and after going there and just log in very easy just log in with your google id that means the gmail id and then you can uh, subscribe this api just click on subscribe to test and yes you can see the price but here is only one catch this is not free only three requests per month is free 500 per month is uh, about 18 dollars so maybe affordable for you guys uh, just check it the pricing structure but i just subscribe the free so just click on the basics and subscribe you the subscription has been created successfully so now just go to the endpoints and i have the just uh, api key you can see so I have the rapid API key. So this is very important. And just uh, subscribe whatever you need. If you need the pricing, subscribe then subscribe uh, according to your project. So now just I'm uh, going to my code editor and here is the input request. And now here just type another variable URL. And URL is what? I I, I will show you URL is this http rapid api.com i just copy only this and now just paste it here and just with the second bracket or first bracket whatever you need the url is http testo sms api.p dot rapid api.com and after that just type ac and descend and dash sms don't forget it friends this is very important i just zoom in so you can see the url so check the uh, indentation so https tensorflow sms api just copy from here and just copy this thing don't service check and here just after dot com just type send sms send dash sms i will put full link in the description box and don't worry about that just watch it and now here's the type p a y payload this is a variable payload and payload equal what just payload and just create a dictionary here and just this is the first key p h o n phone and then just type number n u m b e r number n u m b e r number and then just type the phone number whatever you want phone number but i i will uh, do it later now and here just type text and now here uh, you have to type the text but before after the typing the phone number just put the comma here 
and text this is the message whatever you want to send i will put this also later and now this is very important thing now put the header so what is the header uh, you can see if this is the header so just copy this only header and paste it here so yes just do the right indentation and you can see the header also and yes for just change it so yeah this is the dictionary of headers and content type is application slash station x rapid api to put your api key and x rapid api host put the text flow sms just uh, this actually this uh, url uh, dot com okay so now the very interesting thing page response r e s p o n r e s p o n a c response r e s p o n a c this is a variable don't worry about it and now type request just import the request dot post use the post method here and now at first pass the url then pass the json j s o n json equal payload just the pass the json and then pass the header header is header so request of post url json equal to payload and header is the header and now after that print response dot json so yeah our code is ready but you have to type the message and the type the phone number so here i uh, want to type the message hello my dear friend my dear friend do you prefer i intend just just uh, just i am typing a message and this message is an anonymous message you can send the otp like this otp ot e 430 just something that and you can create the otp for your project and just send it by sms so here my dear friend i just want to tell you something that i know you very much so this is the anonymous message friends and just kidding and this is the text so here i want to create another python file p h o n phone dot py and here just create a variable number number equal just i want to put my phone number so for the india this is the plus 91 it is the code and whatever your country code just put it at first then type your phone number so just here i will type my phone number and after that go to send sms so i don't want to show my phone number that's why i'm not typing now but i will type so here after that here just type from p h o phone import number and just pass here number number is already in string just save it and go to phone just paste your phone number like whatever phone number you want to send so Uh, I just give an example: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay, this is one phone number of ten digit, and this is the country code plus nine one. Okay, so now I have typed my actual phone number here, and after that I will run this. Okay, so just I pause the video and just I type my phone number.
so now i have already typed my phone number inside the phone.py inside the variable of number and here i imported the number and this is the message and all are okay just run it okay so i have received the message i will show you just wait so don't worry about the code and i will put the code in the description this is very interesting you can use it uh, in your any project and this is very interesting friend you can send the anonymous message in this way so thank you thank you friend thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you friend